making a short, quick video, to the point video, so you don't have to listen to the rambling about how to notch a pipe to weld to another pipe. This is actually stainless steel to stainless steel. This is a scrap piece of pipe. Now, I don't need to show you how to do this, but you pick the angle that you want, and you, uh, and you go ahead and cut it on a drop saw with a, with a blade, so on. And then to get the basic curve of it, you use a grinder. I used a bench grinder, got it close. You could use an angle grinder, even a metal file if you really wanted to put in that much work. And you could clamp it, of course, vice it to something. Then you get yourself some 80, 60 grit would be even better. Um, and contact cement it to the pipe that you're trying to make it match to. Works really good with aluminum. With stainless steel, it's a little bit more work because it's harder than aluminum, obviously. You put it in the position that you're wanting it. You simply back and forth by hand on the sandpaper. I'm not quite finished with this one, but you can already see that it's a pretty good fit. See how tight that is? The gaps aren't quite gone yet. I'm not absolutely finished with it, but I've wanted to do this before I completely finish so I can make a video. Now, I'm going to try and show you here. It is already pretty good. Pretty good shape. I'm going to be doing that a little bit longer. A few more times. It looks like my paper's come loose. This could take, this could take you a half an hour. Who knows? But can you see how well that is curved? to the right shape already. It works great. You get an absolutely perfect fit if you have the patience to do it long enough. Keep going with that. You're going to be doing that same movement, movement and it could take you up to 5,000 strokes, but the point is you can do it. You can do it for extremely low cost and you can get a perfect fit. Thanks for watching and good luck.